What's going on my stock market bulls and bears? I'm your host Terry and welcome to the channel by the dip. That is right guys. In today's video we're going to talk about a penny stock that I think has really great opportunity on the recovery play. Now hear me out on this one. This is not a fan favorite but we're going to get into why I think this is a great play. All right guys we are here and the ticker symbol is XSPA Express Ball. That's right guys you may have known this if you used to go to the airport before the pandemic you get your feet done, you get a massage, you get all kind of you know goodies there for your flight or vacation to make it better. Now they are transitioning over due to the pandemic, which I like this. This business got on the opportunity, guys, of transitioning into the pandemic. Now they're gonna be doing treatment and testing and all at the airports. They got three big deals with airlines. That's right, in this interview today on Fox Business is gonna cover a lot of information. So let's get to that interview. One company is right there in the throes of actually perhaps being the key to getting everybody on planes and traveling safely. We've talked to Express Spa, but they quickly transitioned during the pandemic from giving massages and manicures to COVID-19 swabs, instant, fast, rapid tests. They have just opened their fifth airport testing center here in a Fox Business exclusive to talk about now the new partnerships they're making with airlines themselves as Express Group Spa CEO, Doug Satsman. Doug, thank you for being here. Hawaiian Airlines, this is interesting. Tell us what you're doing with Hawaiian Airlines first, and then we'll get to Denver. Sure. Well, thanks for having me back. Uh, Hawaiian Airlines is one of our newest airline partners, where we're partnering with them to provide an easy path for people traveling to Hawaii for a family vacation. They can get testing uh, on site at the airport before they depart. And we are a trusted partner with the state of Hawaii who hand selected a certain number of partners around the country. And we're working with them what in every city we operate. What you anticipate here? Because you also have deals with JetBlue, correct? United Airlines? Yes. Are you in talks with other airlines? Because the competitors are coming in here. American is working with a British company out of Heathrow Airport. And so is British Airways. So you got to tell me how you're trying to get ahead or stay ahead if you are. Well, we're, we're continuing to talk to other airlines as our national footprint expands. It makes it very easy for airlines to partner with us because they're looking for those who can cover, you know, their major hub airports. Interesting you mentioned the, the UK partner a company, Collinson. I talk regularly with the CEO as we share best practices and learnings and then partner with companies like the Common Pass, uh, who are putting together a health passport. It's really the private companies, the airlines, the, the testing facilities like Express Check and the health apps that are going to get America back to traveling in a reduced risk environment and restore confidence. All right, guys, and just a little intermission there of the interview. They have talked about a lot of great things that they're doing, working with the three airlines. They are working with all the other companies that is here to help us Get back to traveling normal. I tell you what, I can't wait to get out in an airplane, go fly down for a cruise, man. I'm definitely ready to roll. We got a cruise booked at the end of October. So I'm hoping that if that's all we got to do is go through and just get a test, tell me that, tell me that we're negative. Boom, we can go on our trip, have a great time. I'm all for it. And just think, guys, this company is already working with all these other airlines. And just think, they keep announcing more airlines. They get into more airports they get into more cities i just i don't know i could be wrong on this one i could be wrong but i'm just putting this out here to you guys you guys do your own due diligence and research before you think about investing so let's get back into this interview there's a point coming up that really got me excited about this whole thing and we're going to see exactly what that to was see your stock as a positive in the recovery of travel play because at the moment you're kind of languishing here and people People who are invested in your stock have that hope that something might happen. So, you know, when you when you speak to our investor audience, you got to explain to us exactly what you see here post pandemic. Sure. We believe testing is here to stay and is critical for uh, as infection rates rise and new strains develop. It's going to be here through 2021. The airlines agree. And uh, it's not just a flash in the pan. We're also, we've been, uh, as we talked with the Trump White House, we've also been in conversations with the Biden uh, transition team uh, about sharing our learnings and future really? protocols. Who? And we, uh, uh, Which well, part of the uh, Biden transition team? 
uh, it's uh, someone that I don't know they want us uh, sharing at this point as we're, work, we're, we're advising and potentially working on plans. Uh, but we think the federal government has an important role to play in uh, setting consistent safety standards. Uh, just like 9-11 yeah. changed safety protocol, we still believe COVID will as well. And as investors look to support companies like ours, it's a long-term play. It's not just uh, it's not just COVID testing, but as vaccinations roll out, we're also uh, advising or advocating to have the frontline workforce of airports to be counted as essential workers and get the vaccines early from companies like us as we go through the registration process. And this is the group that keeps America's supply chain running and, in fact, is the one distributing uh, a lot of the vaccines around the country. All right, guys, as you saw there, Liz got a little like, what? You're talking with the Biden administration on the transition? He also said they were talking with the Trump White House and also leading in with the Biden administration, guys. As you know, Biden is all about that testing and tracing. I don't know if I could be onto something here with this, but I'm thinking that this company has a chance to get some government funding on possibly the testing and tracing in airports for travel, getting the economy up. As you saw here, his workers at his place is gonna be essential workers. So, a lot of great stuff going on here. You can see Liz got a little, little uh, excited when she heard that he was working with the Biden administration and she wanted to know who he's working with and who he's been talking to, but he can't give that information out because it is a little bit secret right now. But guys, I think it is just like leading up to great stuff. We'll get into the end of this here and we'll go over what we need to look out for. On Brand this. transforming the way people access healthcare and personalized services during travel. Uh, we believe going forward, mm. uh, travel will return with the health and wellness component. And we're investing in technology and talent okay. uh, to support this emerging segment. I'm thinking urgent care in airports personally. I think there's a huge need for that. I can't tell you how many times I had a cold and I needed some decongestant before I got on a plane so my head didn't explode. Uh, we, as you may know, have an anchor here on this show who is a huge Cleveland Browns fan. Kevin Stefanski is the head coach. He has tested positive along with two other players for COVID. These guys are, yeah, they're vaguely traveling here and there, but. Now the Cleveland Plain Dealer is saying that the head coach is asymptomatic, uh, but he's tested positive, and now they may very well have to shut down the training camp. This is my very, very backdoor way of talking about the Cleveland Browns. But mm -hmm. do you foresee a time? <laughs> do you foresee a time, Doug, where from now on people will not be able to get on planes unless they are holding one of your rapid express check tests that says negative? Well, I think any uh, there's a range of negative tests. You know, right now uh, PCR is, is the gold standard. Molecular tests, like our rapid tests, are being accepted to more and more destinations. But in the future, antigen tests uh, will likely be accepted, which is a easier path. But the point is, having people uh, get on airplanes and who who work in the airline industry, knowing it's a safe environment. Uh, I, I, I expect that whether it's COVID or other infectious diseases, it's going to be a mainstay mm -hmm. uh, as, as we right. recover. And, and it's, a, it's a new world that we live in. And we're trying to support the effort. Co testing isn't the only solution, but it's a key part. And that's where the airlines have really valued uh, gotcha. what we're building and working on long-term uh, plans together. <laughs> Doug, thank you. Doug Satzman of Express Spa. All right, guys, so that concludes the interview. Doug there laid a lot out of information, great information that's going to lead us into going forward here in 2021. He said that they are transitioning to health and wellness, kind of like a they're going to be investing in technology and talent. What that means is kind of what Liz was saying. They're going to transition as like a, a mini urgent care at the airport so you're gonna have to do your testing if you go there and you don't feel well they can probably give you medicine maybe prescribe you medicine it's gonna be like a crazy crazy year guys to see how travel is gonna go i know they talked about travel passports you're gonna to have to have you know recent testing done and what better place to get your testing done before you go somewhere than the airport before you literally get on that plane and leave you got a test saying that you're negative and you are clear. I have a hundred shares at an average cost of $1.38. Now, yeah, the stock is $1.25 right now. 
So I am currently down a little bit, but I'm not even worried about it because I plan on holding this for a little bit of next three to six months maybe to see what happens. And I am thinking about picking up another 100 shares. I may want to get up to like 300 shares of this, maybe even 500 shares of this. Maybe buy a little each week as it's under down here. Buy 25 a week. Just keep buying it up. That way we ain't doing it all at once and we will see what happens. But guys, comment down below. What do you think? Is this a loser? Is it a winner? I don't know. I don't suggest putting a whole bunch of money into it. Like I said, it's a recovery play. Yes, it is risky. Now, I do know that they are looking for an offering out there because they're looking to raise some capital and raise some money. So we'll have to see what happens, how much they're looking to raise money on you know diluting the shareholder value so we'll see what happens on that but if they come through and get a big government bailout and biden gives them a whole bunch of money for the testing and tracing airports woo wee so you know there it's it's risk but a lot of high reward with it a lot of high reward so guys hope you all enjoyed today's video if you did hit that thumbs up join the thumbs up nation i love and appreciate every single one of you and guys i will catch you in the next one remember to buy the dip Baby, let's go!